Chicago to see which one has the better daytime and nighttime photos. Links to the specifications down below. On the left is the iPhone 10. On the right is the OnePlus 6. In this first photo, you can see the tree's a little greener for the OnePlus 6, a little darker on iPhone 10, but the sky and the actual grass looks a little more pleasing to me for Apple's device on this photo. So I would take the iPhone 10 here. On this next one, I like the reflection on the water and the reflection on the wood from the sun for the iPhone 10, but the water doesn't look quite as real as it did on the OnePlus 6. So I like the OnePlus 6 overall here. On this next photo, it's pretty much a wash. They're both about even, but I would say that the iPhone 10 has a little bit better of a sky, and the way the sun is coming off the wood there is a little bit better again on the iPhone 10. Now this next one, I couldn't really decide which one was better. The colors were a little bit more vibrant on the OnePlus 6, a little bit duller on the iPhone 10, but the shadows were better for the 10. So it's a pretty much an equal photo here. Next up again, pretty much equal again. I really couldn't distinguish too much differences, a little bit more detail maybe in the bricks for the iPhone 10 and in the dirt, but not much difference here. Now I prefer the iPhone 10 here as the tarmac was a little bit darker and that was closer to reality. The OnePlus 6 just brightened it up a little bit too much. So I would take the iPhone 10 here. Now on this front selfie photo, you can see that the iPhone 10 has a little bit more of a saturated, more lively look to it. I actually like that more than the OnePlus 6's duller look. And the OnePlus 6 is a little bit softer here. So I would take the selfie camera for the iPhone 10 there. Now this portrait mode, the blur looks a little bit stronger for the iPhone 10 and the OnePlus 6 did a fantastic job as well, but just a little bit darker. Now here for this panoramic shot, the iPhone 10 did a great job. I always thought iPhones did good with the panoramic shots, but the OnePlus 6 also does very good. Good detail here, just a little bit dimmer, but you could just easily brighten that up in post. Now this next construction cone I took a picture of, the orange is just very orange and the dirt just very dark on the iPhone 10 brings out a lot of detail. So I think the iPhone 10 a little bit better here than the OnePlus 6 on this one. Now in the bricks, again, the detail a little bit stronger for iPhone 10. You really gotta look close for these details, but the OnePlus 6 is doing a fantastic job in comparison to the iPhone 10. Next up, it's pretty much equal. I could not really distinguish a difference here. Yes, the flowers are a little bit more saturated for the 10, but this can go either way because one filter would change the game on either one of these photos. Now here on this flower, you can see that the OnePlus 6 definitely has a stronger blur in the background, but there's more detail in that background for the iPhone 10 on the grass below the flower. So if we get in a little bit closer here, you can see that it picked up some detail below that flower in the grass in the iPhone 10, whereas a lot more blurry on the OnePlus 6, but you might prefer more blur for the OnePlus 6. And here is the original picture once again between them so you can kind of see them back in the normal photo mode. So I want to take a look at some green here and look at the yellow flowers in that bush at the bottom. The iPhone 10 has more detail there, but the OnePlus 6 is more vibrant. Now on this next photo, you can see that the iPhone 10 has a better detail in the grass and the green trees behind this sculpture here is a definitely a little more realistic on the 10, but a very vibrant, colorful photo on the OnePlus 6. Very hard to distinguish. I think you would like either of these. Back to the panoramas, I took one here at Diversity Harbor in Chicago of the Chicago skyline. You could see the boats and everything looks pretty great. The OnePlus 6 actually a little bit brighter and I actually preferred this photo over what Apple's iPhone 10 did in this one. Now on the zoom, the iPhone 10 you can see can zoom farther in on the Willis Tower. This is exactly 5.1 miles from this building and that's pretty far, but the OnePlus 6 cannot get in quite as far, so that's a win for the 10. Now this really showcases that natural look on the iPhone 10 versus the vibrancy for the OnePlus 6 in this flower macro, but some are gonna prefer that more colorful popping look of the OnePlus 6, so it's a very good contender iPhone 10 on the left, you can see definitely again, looks very natural. OnePlus 6 boosts up the colors a little bit, a little bit more saturated. I prefer the OnePlus 6 on this photo. It's daytime, I want some popping photos. iPhone 10, you can see right here, zooms in further on the Ferris wheel at Navy Pier, Chicago. OnePlus 6 on the right, definitely can't get in quite as close. All right guys, so here is the front facing video on the OnePlus 6. You know, this phone is all the way extended. I do have some long arms. It's pretty close to the face. So if you're going to be doing some front facing video, this definitely needs a selfie stick if you got shorter arms or, you know, just something to extend it out because I have a pretty long wingspan and my arms all the way extended and look how close it is to the face. But overall, I do like the colors. It looks pretty accurate. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little touch saturated, 
but overall pretty good video quality. What do you guys think? Drop it down below. Okay, so here is the iPhone 10. Now, this is not fully extended arms, and you can see that much wider angle on the front of this camera. If I extend it all the way out, that's basically what you can see here. Now, I'm noticing the iPhone 10 seems to be a little bit closer to reality when it comes to just the way the colors look overall. I'm not sure how the stabilization is doing, and I'm not sure how the audio is doing, but I know that I think it looks a little bit more natural. It doesn't make it a better camera, it's gonna come down to personal preference, but this is the iPhone 10 from the front-facing camera on the device. Okay, so here we are at nighttime. Take a look at the lamp post on the iPhone 10. Definitely doesn't flare as much as the OnePlus 6, and that orange look from the iPhone 10 is actually what it kind of looks like in real life due to just it being nighttime in those, you know, dingy street lights. Now, here on this one, the iPhone 10 doesn't look quite as real on the ground as the 6, so I'll take the OnePlus 6 here. And here, we actually get a much brighter photo for the OnePlus 6. Again, I'm not tapping the focus. I just pull these cameras out, let them do their own automatic job. The iPhone 10 just not quite as bright here. And in the next one here, the iPhone 10 actually has a little bit better detail than the OnePlus 6, but the OnePlus 6 pretty much matches, if not raises the brightness a little bit more. Now in this next photo, pulled the cameras out, took an automatic shot, and you could see that the OnePlus 6 brought in that detail below the sign a little bit better than the iPhone 10, but the sky was brighter for the 10. So it's kind of, you know, personal preference there. Now in this one, I totally think that the iPhone 10 did a better job of representing reality. The red was not that red on the ground like on the OnePlus 6. Now next up here, we do have the iPhone 10 winning because of that orangish look. That's kind of how it really looks with the way those street lamps were reflect on the ground now here we are on the selfie photo and you could see again i do like the one plus six here because it just kind of brightens the face up makes it look a little bit better to me overall now on the next one the iphone 10 and the one plus six again personal preference it's pretty close you can choose either and i think you'd be happy with either one you go with here both did a fantastic job on this knife all right guys so here is some one plus six footage from the front this is basically the way it's going to look at nighttime there is a little bit of a light there on the building and uh, it's not the darkest area but I don't think you're gonna go much darker than this so this is what it looks like at nighttime on the one plus six by comparison this is the same video shooting on the iPhone 10 from the front a little bit of a wider angle but I can't see myself as good here on the iPhone 10 and I'm sure the audio it's probably not as good it's probably in mono but this is basically what you can get from the iPhone 10 in pretty low conditions like I say there's a light on the building over here just those regular yellow night lights you see on the street like over here so this is about the best you're gonna do in low light on the iPhone 10 of course if you're in brighter city lights it's gonna be even better but this is how they compare all right guys so here is some iPhone 10 video at nighttime in a really dark area right now and this can showcase to you basically what it can do at nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead now and switch over to the OnePlus 6. All right guys, so here is some OnePlus 6 video at nighttime. You can see I'm on my bike right here. And this is basically what you can expect for the OnePlus 6 